Hey everybody, welcome, it's Daniel. Today we're gonna to be looking at Android architecture components and specifically view model and live data. So we're gonna build this app. So we click here, this is the name field, so Daniel Malone. All we have to do is type out our name in that field. And as soon as I hit the floating action button, then it says Daniel Malone there. So this is a really basic app, but hopefully it'll get you started with Android architecture components and how to use live data and view model. So I can type anything here. I can type um, Mel Malone. And again, I have, to clear, I have to close the keyboard because I have this floating action button is hidden. This is a terrible app, but hopefully you'll learn something from it. So I type out Mel Malone there. I, you know, I can type whatever I want to type out there. And as soon as I do that, I click the floating action button, then it updates the text there. So let's get started. So I went ahead and opened up an uh, Android Studio project. This is a new project. If you haven't uh, opened, uh, if you haven't started one already, go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up main activity here. So main activity on the left. And let's go ahead and just close everything. Or not close everything, but get rid of the stuff that we do not want. So we don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. Um, we basically just need this right here. This is all we need right now. So the first thing, let's go ahead and go to content main. And again, it's inside of resources layout, layout and then content main. And let's go ahead and do something. Um, so go into design mode, not text mode, but design mode and make sure you have the palette open here and click on, there are lots of different stuff you can add, but let's add text. Okay, plain text, we'll just drag it down there. It doesn't matter where, just somewhere. And we're using constraint layout, so let's go ahead and constrain. Let's go ahead and set the uh, connection. So here, click and drag and then let go. And then click and drag and let go. Then click and drag and let go. And this isn't taking up the full width, so I'm gonna open up on the right side the attributes there and I'm gonna to switch to the one where it has this right here. I'm gonna click on there a couple of times. It kind of toggles through different modes. Um, here we go, so it takes up the full width. So let's go ahead and save it. So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go back to the emulator and I'm gonna go ahead and just kill this and all this other stuff there we don't need. So I'm gonna save it, then I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Go back to the emulator and we should see a field for entering text. So as soon as this builds, then we'll be able to see it. And here it is. So it says a name, but we can type out, let's type out Daniel Malone. I'm gonna go ahead and close that, hit the floating action button and nothing happens. Okay, so this is the basics. I'm gonna put the emulator up there. Now let's get started with adding uh, live data and view model to our app. Okay, so I'm gonna close everything there and open up project and make sure you're inside of Android and it might look close like that, but you can go ahead and double click Gradle scripts and then we want the module app one. So go ahead and do that. And the first thing we need to do is let's just go ahead and do something here. Let's do uh, apply plugin and then we'll do Kotlin. There we go, just like that. I'll uh, go ahead and sync that and save it. Not much is gonna change. So let's go ahead and, oops, there we go. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is we need to actually add Android architecture components to our app. So Andro Android texture components. And let's go ahead and click on the first result from developer.android.com. This should load, and then if you see on the left side, they have some information about Android architecture components. Let's go ahead and click on the left that says adding components to your project. And I'll put this link in the YouTube description so you can just follow, just click, just uh, open up the YouTube comments, or not the YouTube comments, but the YouTube description. This link will be there. So there are a number of ways and stuff you can add. There's Android X, which is kind of kind of going to be the future. But for now, let's go ahead and do pre-Android X. And I'm going to copy this first line here. This is for view model and live data. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this. And I'm going to go back to Android Studio. And we're going to open up again module app, uh, the build.gradle there. And I'm going to come down here. And so notice at the end, so we, we're, we're doing implementation, and then we have, the, we have the library that we need so it can fetch it, but we also have a version. So we can get rid of that and do 0 0.4 or whatever. And if we do a low number, see how it's highlighted? So put your mouse over there and it says, hey, version 1.1.1 is available. So let's do that, 1.1.1. And actually, if we go back to Chrome, it should say, yeah. So it said, uh, it should be 1.1.1. That's the latest right now, but if, for whatever reason, it looks highlighted like that. Just put your mouse over it and it'll tell you there. See, whoops, let's see if I can show you. So it says available 1.1.1. 1 
So when you're watching this video, it might be it might be even later. It might be 2.0 or something. But go ahead and just put in the latest. Then we need to sync it. So wait a couple of seconds and this syncs. Okay, we're done with this file, so I'm gonna close it. Okay, let's go back to main activity. And what do we need to do? Well, actually, let's let's create our view model. So this is this is kind of kind of gonna gonna be MVVM architecture. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and open up app uh, Java com. Uh, then so so I named mine uh, example.com, but whatever yours is, just look for main activity and go ahead and right click on the package. Go go to new. Kotlin class, and we'll call this. Let's do main view, uh, main. What should we What should we call this? Uh, main main view model. We'll just call it main view model. Uh, this is going to be a class. I'm going to click OK, and this needs to extend view model. There we go. So this is our view model, and let's go ahead and just set this up. So this this is where we're going to put all of our variables. This class right here, all of this. It's going to be for store, actually just between there, but all of this file is kind of just for maintaining state. This is going to be our view model for the main activity. So how can we hook up this main activity class, all of this, to our view model, all of this? So there's one thing we can do. So open up main activity, and I'm going to come down here and, and on, oops, on create. Let's do this, val view model. Let me do equals view model providers with an S on the end, dot of, and then we pass in a context, so there'll be this. Um, and if you're working with a fragment, well, we'll get into that later, but this is just an activity, so this. Then let's do dot get, and then we need to pass in the class that we wanna get. So we just created this main view, main view model. So let's do main view model, and then it's giving us an error, so we need to do uh, class.java, just like, yeah, just like that, class.java. Okay, cool. So we're kind of, we kind of started this out. So now we have access to view model. Let's go ahead and go inside of view model and I'm going to command click on there um, and then it'll take me directly there. Or you can just click on the tab there and let's go ahead and set up what we need here. So let's do this. I'm trying to think of what to do. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. So uh, val first, we'll call it first name. I'll do it full name. No, let's just do yeah, I do full name. Full name. Well, that'll work. Full name equals, and then this is where we use um, live data. So mutable live data, and it's going to be of type. So like if you're dealing with numbers, you'll want to put an integer. But if you're working with text, like a first name or a last name or email address or password, it's a string. So let's do this string. Uh, then we need to put what do we, um. I think that's it actually. Yeah, there we go. So that's it. So, so yeah, that, that works. Okay. So we have a variable full name and we have mutable live data, which means, Hey, this is, this full name is a special live data. Just think of this as really special. You can do stuff with it. So it's going to equal mutable live data, which means this can change, which means this can change, but it's of type string. So first name, I mean, if we were dealing with like score or whatever, we could put in an integer and this could be like, then we could have like, you know, score equals, you know, 200, you have 200 points or 150, 42 points or however many points you have. But in this case, we wanna do full name. Well, the variable name can be anything, but what's important right here is this. So it's a string is what we're gonna use. Okay, so we have that all filled up. Uh, we're, then we're basically done with this file here. So the last thing we need to do is do something here. Or a couple more things we need to do. Let's do this. We can do we can do view model dot uh, what do we call it? Full name dot value equals. And then we'll call Daniel. We'll call this uh, Daniel Malone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it in the emulator. I'm gonna go back to emulator, and we should see something. Well, we'll just see if it crashes or not. It's always good to test apps, and oh, it didn't crash, so that's cool. So I'm gonna type in my name. I'm gonna type Daniel Malone. I'm gonna close the keyboard. Oh, we haven't set that up yet. So we need to, let's add a button to our layout. So let's open back up content main. Then we have buttons there. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in a button. I'll just put it somewhere there. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and click and drag below there. Did that work? Click and drag. Didn't work. Okay, then let go. Click and drag. Let go. So there we are. So we have our button and our name. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And let's make sure our button is there. So just wait for it to build a second. And here, okay, there's our button. Now the button doesn't do anything yet, but let's go ahead and change that right now. So let's go ahead and select the button. And again, I'm not in text mode. I'm in design mode here. I'm going to click on button and let's give it an ID of submit button. Okay, there we go. So it has a submit button. We can actually access that now. Okay, so let's do this. I'm trying to, th we, we could do, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. Let's do, let's do something else first. Let's do this. Let's do, let's do um, view model dot, what do we call it? Full name dot observe. Okay, so this takes a couple of things. What we're saying is, hey, get access to view model. So mem remember, that's all of that right there. And then we want to get the full name. And if we go back to our main view model, you can see, hey, there's our full name there. So we're going to go ahead and get that. So full name, and then we want to observe it. So every time, every time that full name changes or whenever we request a new or whenever, yeah, basically whenever full name gets updated, it'll get routed to this line right here. And there are a couple of things we need to pass in. So this for the context. Uh, then what we do is I think we can do observer. Yeah, wait, observe, yeah, it's observer. And we want this one right here with the brackets. Let's go ahead and enter there. And let's go ahead. So every time, every time full name changes, we're gonna do all of this code. So anything inside of here is all gonna happen. Got messed up there. Anything, anything inside of here is all gonna happen. All of this is gonna happen whenever full name changes. So with that, let's just do this. Um, for, well, yeah, let's go ahead and just log it, okay? Let's do D Daniel, the full name is, and then we'll do dollar, it's there. So every time full name changes, we get access to it, which is a string there. I'm gonna save it. And let's go ahead and put this, let's put this below there, just for that. Mess something up there. There we go, no errors. So I think, so basically, let me just look at this really quick to make sure I, th I think this will work. So we set up our view model, we give it the class main view model, we set up the full name every time it changes, we wanna log something. And then down here, we're gonna basically say, hey, the view model, we're gonna update its value to Daniel Malone. So in this case, and later, in just a second, we'll actually link it up to that, to the edit text right there, but for now, this will work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it and I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna open up the logcat, search for, I'm gonna clear it really quick, go back to the emulator and let's see what happens. So it says, yeah, full name is Daniel Malone. So that's exactly kind of what we wanted. But if we type out something there and we click the submit button, it doesn't really do anything yet. How can we fix that? Well, let's go ahead and do something else. So let's go back to here. So let's click on the edit text. I'm gonna. I'm going to pull down the, the log cat and, and clear it. So we have our name there, and this is called edit text 3. Let's call this, we'll call this um, full, we'll do this first name field. So first name field, yes there. I'm not sure you'll have to do that. So we have first name field. So let's go back to main activity, and we'll do, let's do this. Uh, oh, well actually, we need access to the button also. So the button... Uh, it's called submit button. Okay, so cool. Let's do this. So we'll do, we'll do, um, what was it called? Submit button dot set on click list on, on uh, submit button dot set on click listener. So that right there. Gonna hit, gonna give some space there. Always good. And then we're gonna do a, hey, whenever somebody hits the submit button, I want you to go inside of the view model and I want you to get full name and I want you to set its value to uh, first name field. Oh, we gotta do that, okay. So basically we're saying, hey, get the view model, first name, set its value to 
first name field. And again, the first name field is that right there. That, can, that name can be anything, just make sure it matches that. Let's do uh, dot text dot to string. And I think that should work. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Okay, so I think this might actually work. So let me look at it. Submit button every time that's clicked. Get the view model. Set the full name, which is inside of here again, the full name there. Set it to set its value to first name, whatever first name field is, and that's the first name field right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need that. So your code should look kind of like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Let's just see what happens. So I had my log cat down there, and we shouldn't see anything at first, I think. So we have name there. Let's go ahead and type out something. Let's type out Jeff. Click the button and it says full name is Jeff. Now let's do Daniel, hit the submit button. Now it says, hey, full name is Daniel. So the last thing we wanna do is we want to update this, uh, the text there. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to content main. I'm gonna click on, uh, click on the text view in the middle or you can just drag one in from text. So we have it selected there. Let's give it an, an idea of welcome message. There we go. And let's make the text size a lot bigger. So text size, let's do with uh, 24 SP. Oh, text color, sorry, that's not text. Where is text size? I don't see it. Here we go, text size. Let's make this like, let's make it really big. Let's make it 30. And then let's, all, let's also make the color black. So let's do this, text color. Let's do number 000, that should make it black. Okay, cool. So it has an ID, welcome message. Let's go back to main activity and let's do this. Uh, inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And every time full name changes, let's do this. Let's, let's get, come back to here and get the welcome message. So welcome message dot text should equal its. And it is up, you can see it right there, it's a string, it's basically whatever full name is. That's kind of what you can think of it as. So I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna run it one last time, go back to the emulator, and let's see if this works or not. Okay, cool, so we have hello world there. So the real test, will this work? Daniel James Malone, hit the button, and boom, it says Daniel James Malone. And just to confirm that this really is working, let's do something else. Let's do Nathan Malone. Now it says Nathan Malone. So cool, and in real life, this can be much more complicated, but for now, this is you know, a great overview of what it's like to use uh, Android architecture components and live data, view model. Uh, we're using the view model there, we're using live data. Uh, all of this is kind of like it's, uh, you know. Anyway, so hopefully you learned something. I'll do another video on uh, other stuff if you, I know, I know I say this a lot, but if you have questions, post them in the comments. I get a lot of comments, so I can't respond to all of them, but I'll try to respond to as many comments as possible. And also you could find me, I'll put some links to my websites in the description, in the YouTube description. So if you wanna read, if you wanna read tutorials on you know, shared on data or like view model or live data or Android arch architecture components or anything, look in the YouTube description because I'll put all of that there. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.